mean, it's a pleasure to be here and to have an opportunity to work with Kyle and, and the coaching staff, which I've got to spend some time with here the last couple, three days. And, and the players, that's, that's what it's always about to me. And uh, that's what I miss the most in the year that I, that I didn't coach. But uh, uh, it's fun to be here. I mean, and, and the new facility is going to be unbelievable. Uh, having been in this league at a lot of different places, I guess you could say, Another 100 years, I probably coach at all of them, but I don't think I'm going to make that. But uh, uh, this place has a tremendous chance to uh, win this league, be involved in this league. It's about facilities, getting used to uh, the competition, the league itself. Uh, uh, but with facilities and, and a coaching staff and people that I've met, uh, the university, uh, we played here when I, was, when I was at Arizona State my last year. And, the place was packed, and students are unbelievable. And you can always tell good football programs by how the students are and how excited they are about the game. And uh, it, it was fun to play in that atmosphere and be able to come out of it alive. But uh, and that's special too. And then the town of Salt Lake has grown so much over the years, and a town that's ready for the for the Pac-12. So I'm excited to have the opportunity to be here. So I'll, I'll, I'll answer any questions you guys might have, or ladies. Well, I mean. It, He's a boss. He's a, he's a head football coach. I, you know, I, I'm here to, to try to help him be successful, whatever it takes to be successful. And I'm brought in to help the, the group offensively, which, by the way, you know, people are upset over the last couple of years, but I think we all forget a little bit as how good Utah was four, five, six years ago in a row where, where they were really good. And so we're trying to get back to those roots a little bit as far as what we're doing offensively. And... Uh, uh, but but that's what it's all about, and, and being able to blend in and do what it takes to, to be successful here. And, and uh, what's different what's different is uh, I'm just coaching the offense. I'm just coaching that part of the football team. I don't have to deal with the other issues that go with me and a head football coach, which I've had to deal with for 40 years. And believe me, I don't miss it that much at this point anyway. Well, I think Travis obviously has got some experience coming back at quarterback. I mean, we're, the thing that we're doing right now as an offensive coaching staff is looking at the personnel. They know the personnel. I don't know the personnel, to be very honest with you. And I, I haven't had enough time to look at a lot of tapes. So, uh, so we're sitting down as an offensive staff and talking about personnel and getting information all the time. And you know, we'll continue to get that information as far as what we want to do offensively. Again. Uh, we've got some receivers that are very skilled, some real big receivers. Reminds me of some that I've had over the years. Uh, like I said, a quarterback that's tough and young that's going to get better and better all the time. And and I look at the offensive front, and there's some awfully big guys there that can move around. So uh, that all takes some time. But th th that's what we're looking at. We're, we're trying to get back into into running the shotgun most of the time, running some read option stuff, spreading them out, doing those types of things that, were, that was done here before and, and a lot of the things that I've done in my career over the over the last 40 years. And, and it's been fun because we all believe in the same thing. And it's just a matter of all being on the same page and all knowing what we want to get done and all of us have the same goal to do it and just get just get better on offense. Well, I've, I've always had great respect for Kyle. and. Uh, and I go back looking at this program over the, over the years when I coached at Wyoming and we competed against him. And Ron McBride's a good friend. I can go back in in, in history. But, but I saw a program that was making a uh, a change, a, a change from here to to this league. And to me, uh, it was a real challenge to, to to make that move, to help him make that move, knowing that that we can. As you, as you look at the, probably the top ten offenses in college football right now. All of them run 75 to 80 plays. Well, you can't run 75 to 80 plays in huddle. I mean, so there's a reason that they get all those yards because they're not huddling. And so there's a lot to be said for that. Uh, and in saying that, doing that's a little it's a little harder than, than people think uh, because there's a lot of communication things. You got to know what you want to do. Those are things that we've met the last couple of days. And I mean, it's it's been fun because we all want to do the same thing. And that's going to be one of them. And uh, we're going to know how to. I think that eventually, that's what we'll do. But we will also be able to have the pace to, to not huddle but slow it down. You know, non huddling is one thing. The pace of the game is the other. I mean, the University of Oregon 
when they don't huddle and their pace is a little different than some of the other schools out there doing the same thing, but they don't do it quite as fast because there's different ways to do it. I'll bet you the University of Oregon probably has five, six plays when they don't, I mean, and that's all they run. Brian Johnson's a superstar in our, in our business. He really is. I, and I, I've spent three or four days with him, and he, and he is. And he's, you, you're not a player like, and I, I watch him play a lot. And you're not a player and do the things that he does as a competitor and not be able to t transfer it over to a coach. And, and uh, you know, we'll spend a lot of time together, but hopefully he'll learn from me yeah, because I know I'll learn from him because, I mean, it's a two-way street. So, uh, but, but I think as a young coach, uh, never think you don't have something to learn. Or as an old coach, you always got something to, always got something to learn. Well, it's getting better. I, I've always thought that, that the state of Utah always had great high school coaching in it. And we didn't recruit here a lot any place I was, but we recruited here some. Uh, uh, there are some, some really good athletes here. Uh, the, the thing that has jumped out at me over the last three or four or five years are the amount of uh, offensive and defensive linemen that come out of this state, and uh, a lot of them. And a lot of them rank very, very high, which is unusual. Because you find those players, a lot of places you go, the, the hardest thing to find are offensive and defensive linemen. You can always always find a skill guy, which which you can here. But there are a lot of a lot of offensive and defensive linemen in this state that are being recruited by everybody.